You know there's a spider that lives its entire life underwater? It only comes out of the water a few seconds a day and the rest of its life it's underwater. How does it do this? It's called the diving bell spider. Now those who are familiar with any sort of scuba diving understand what a diving bell is. It's, it's like a big like canopy that holds a bubble of air inside of it where you can go inside and breathe. This is exactly what this spider does. It spins a little circular canopy web, then it goes to the surface and air sticks to the hair on its legs and abdomen, comes back down and puts that air inside of that little web that forms a big bubble of air. Now, amazingly, that bubble can even draw additional air from the surrounding water around it. So the air will last for up to 24 hours before the spider needs to go and get more air. So it lives its life underwater. What's it do underwater? Well, it goes and just like normal spiders, it poisons small aquatic animals, insects, even very small fish and tadpoles, drags them back into its diving bell where it goes in and eats it at its convenience. If it needs a nap, what well, goes into the diving bell and takes a nap. When it has babies, it lays its eggs inside of the diving bell. The little baby spiders are born and they form their own little microscopic diving bells the size of a head of a pin where they live underwater. Now think of all the things it would need. It would need the insect dinks. It would need the ability to form the bell. It would need the knowledge to know it could grab and go up and grab oxygen and bring it back down. And everything would have to be in place or nothing would work. It couldn't slowly and gradually somehow learn how to do this. It wouldn't have ever survived underwater. You see, the abilities and the instincts of this little spider testify that there's an instinct and ability maker that gave it all of this in order to survive in a completely different environment. And that instinct maker, that ability giver, is the creator and God of this universe. Thank you.